Well, this is the final on that siding that I had installed. It's kind of hard to see, but it ended up being a little bit too small for the light that I installed on top of the electric box, uh, including Mr. Spider up here. So, anyways, let's see if I can get a, a look up underneath so you can see. Well, that's the only thing I'm worried about really is critters getting in there, because there is nothing gonna get inside. And then I put the light on and I cocked the top and the um, sides of it. So I'll show you the outside of one of the other ones. Uh, a little bit dusty here, but so that's uh, how that turned out. It works pretty decent. I was supposed to try to post a picture, but I could not get a picture posted on YouTube. Uh, one of the guys was asking about a um, uh, the back side of it. Sorry. There's the back side of the box right there. So it's I had to trim the bracket. I forgot to yeah, mention that because it was uh, um, the box didn't stick into the inside of the well house very far. So I trimmed the side of the bracket and then I was able to screw it on. Otherwise, uh, if you do that with the if you uh, have the box on the outside, like shown in the previous video, it's sticking out pretty far and the bracket will be too too uh, long. That's not that big of a deal. So anyways, that's what I'm looking at. I know that's kind of a shabby job. It's inside the well house. And I don't know, I guess I could show the rest of the electrical. Not a lot to it really. Um, so my power comes in. I've got it all wrapped. I need to do, uh, I'm gonna do uh, spray and insulation. Haven't done it yet. So power comes in here, goes around the back side of my tank, comes in over here to the control box. Um, this is the pressure sensing line. It goes down to over here. So here's my well head. So of course, well head pumps it out into the tank. Two inch coming out. That's my drain, my master drain going out. And I, I put valves on everything. Uh, this one on the top, the black one goes in the shop. Then we've got a, so I have an isolation valve here so I can isolate the tank completely. Um, drain the tank and uh, shut it off. And if I gotta pull the tank, I can. I have these unions right here. And no mind you, I'm not a plumber, but this turned out pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. I did have a couple leaks initially and I had to redo this section right here. But, um, so I have another isolation valve here. And then I have a spigot on the side that goes out here, the valve on that one. So the two inch comes around and this is kind of hard to see. I have an isolation valve for the main two inch line. I have, so I have one two inch line going out and I have five one inch lines. So what I did, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm wrapped in plastic right now, but I have a union right here and that goes to a uh, five one inch uh, uh, manifold system. And I, I built this, uh, it's pretty easy to build, basic plumbing stuff. And then I bought these flapper valves. I wanted to be able to see the water. I wanted to make sure, because my, my whole concern is water back feeding into the system. Um, so I'm gonna have this, this is kind of my fail safe. And then anything on the other end, like at the house, uh, I've got a, um, I think a one inch vacuum breaker valve. So, but anyways, it worked out pretty good. So I labeled labeled these valves like this. I haven't got the use for the other ones yet, but, and then they stub right out in front. So that's basically it, that's the plumbing. So aside from, I started with the electrical, but so the electrical for the lights in here, that comes up, goes down to a, uh, a GFI plug, out of the GFI plug to the light out there, and then switch. And, and then this comes over to control panel for um, my well. And then this is uh, my lights. These were at Costco. They're just LED lights. They're, they're drawstring lights. So what I did is I, I uh, they're split their plug-in. So I took and diked the plugs off, ran them into this J box, wired them all together, brought the Romex in, wired it into the Romex, left the lights on, and uh, it's, it's a pretty tight little fit. It just, it's just buttered right up against the end like that. So. Um, on each side. It's pretty clean install. I was pretty happy with it and it makes it plenty bright in here. So anyways, I hope to help somebody and for the guy who was asking about uh, the back of the box. Yeah, well, that was it. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. Take care. Bye.